Hello everyone, thanks for joining us here on Horizon. I'm Rob McClendon. So how do you define character? And what makes up that definition? Traits like honesty, loyalty, and forgiveness easily come to mind. But what about qualities such as attentiveness, thoroughness, and even resilience? Where do they fit in? Today, we're going to focus on the role character plays in our lives, both at home and work and across generations. And we begin with one of the very hardest places to look, and that's within ourselves. It's an often debated question in management circles. Do you hire for attitude and train for skills, or hire the most skilled and adjust the workplace to fit their attitude? Anyone can fake an attitude, right? You're going to have a hard time faking character. Meet Jason Jones, a workplace psychologist who, along with researcher Virginia Smith, designed the Character Strengths Index, or CSI. No one knows us like ourselves. And the assessment gives us a chance to take a snapshot of how we're feeling, how we view ourselves. And to thine own self be true, at least most of the time. Most of us are about 50% uh, in, in terms of accuracy and self-awareness. There's some data to support that. We're, we're about half good and half bad at being able to look at ourselves and say, oh, these are my strengths, these are my weaknesses, this is what I need to work on, this is what I'm good at. And that's why Jones and Smith created the Character Strengths Index. We develop over time and that's, what, that's the beauty of character development is it can be a conscious process. I can recognize when things don't, aren't going the way I expect them to go and I can kind of feel myself beginning to become tense or maybe I'm being short with the people around me. And if I know that's a tendency of mine, then I can proactively decide I'm going to change my behavior. And when you change your behavior, you find yourself becoming more like what you intentionally want to become. Is it easier to grow your strengths or improve on your weaknesses? So what we say about your strengths is uh, leverage those, put those into practice as much as you can. There's solid research behind people who uh, each day when they are doing things that allow them to practice their character strengths, they are uh, more engaged in work, they're more passionate about what they do, and they have higher levels of productivity and, and, and performance on the job. Uh, solid research behind that. Now the other side, let's look at that, and that is what about those things that could be your weaknesses or those opportunities? When you have an area that, that's weaker, it's something that could be derailing your, uh, your relationships, it could be hindering your relationships, it could be hindering your work performance, um, it also could be hindering you from reaching your goals, and you don't really realize that yet. So look at those things and say, hey, is there something in here that I can focus on a little bit more? And when you can do that, this is where we often see um, significant, um, a significant boost in performance. And then also people who are saying uh, an employee or a leader has made a significant improvement in how they relate to other people because they focused on one or two character qualities over the last month or so. So I put the Character Strengths Index to the test. I believe that I am where I am today because of the help and assistance I have received from others. That is absolutely true. An online assessment that asks you how closely 95 different statements describes you. I'm always on time to meetings and appointments. Boy, that is somewhat unlike me. Something Most makes a lot easily of answered, because even the best while some do make you ponder. I plan out what needs to get done at the beginning of my day. Now, if you'd like to take the Character Strengths mm -hmm. Index, it's not I plan it, don't and usually it do it. Altogether, it took only about 20 minutes, and I was able to get the results hot off the printer. Okay, Rob, these are your results here. On page Snapshot. three, it's going to give you your, your top-rated character qualities. And then you're at the bottom of the page, you're going to see you're going to have your lowest rated character qualities. Mm. This is a, a, a snapshot of what's your top and what are your bottom character qualities. You're a longtime educator, spent you know, m most of your career talking about giving people skills. Mm -hmm. But how important are these soft skills that we're talking about? They're extremely important. I guess the best way I like to explain it is if I was going to have heart surgery, I would want to have a surgeon who was highly competent. I would want him to know what he was doing or she was doing. But at the same time, I would want them to have great character. I'd want them to be thorough. 
I don't want them leaving anything inside of me that doesn't belong. I want them to be careful. I want them to be creative. I want them to be flexible. What if something goes wrong during the surgery and they have to change what they'd expected to do? I want them to have the character to be able to do that. A fact not lost on Edmund Dennis, Brent Cutlossa. When you're working internally, if there's any conflicts or anything that arise between us, patients can see it, patients can sense it too. So Cutlossa had his entire staff take the character index. Some of the things that I really enjoy doing, I scored high on and some of the things that I know have kind of set me back at work sometimes, I scored low on. And so it was interesting to see that on paper and realize that there's a name to it and realize that, um, that it's not necessarily a weakness, but something that I have an opportunity to work on. And while the character index can be helpful across an organization, its real strength may be in helping guide those who guide others. You know, sometimes we tend to hire people that are very similar to us. Mm -hmm. Should we be looking broader than that? You know? It can be very difficult when you're in a seat of power in an organization to get a good feel for what people really believe in what they think because what they want to do is they want to please you. They obviously respect you. You're in a position of authority and so they want to give you the answers that they think that, that you would like to hear. Many workplaces are so focused on the bottom line, right? They're so focused on the, the metric of, of the performance or the output and don't give, they don't give the focus for what goes behind that. If you're going to have the efficiency or the quality that you want to have, you've got to have some character behind that. You've got to have a person who says, you know what, I'm not going to cut corners. Uh, you know, I could do this faster, but I'm going to take a little extra time to ensure that this is exactly the way the customer wants it. That's the character side. What you see is most people in, uh, in a company, uh, whether it's you know, HR, or a supervisor who's hiring for a position, they are hiring and they have this mindset of competence. What's a person's background, experience, education, skills, right? But what we see is the majority of people are fired, they're let go, or they're poor performers based on character. Things like a lack of thoroughness, a lack of punctuality, not showing up for work on time, a lack of cooperation, not getting along with people, a lack of attentiveness, and allowing things to fall to the wayside or getting injured or other people getting injured. So those are character qualities that actually hinder people's performance, their work, and the culture. And you see more of that, and that needs to be developed and focused on even more so than the skill side. Which makes a lot of sense, because even the best business culture does not work without the personal values to support it. Now, if you'd like to take the Character Strengths Index, it's not very expensive and it is a good insight into growing our strengths and improving our weaknesses. And we have a link to the CSI website at okhorizon.com. But when we return, a snapshot of true character.